Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Skip Rutherford. I'm Dean of the University of Arkansas Clinton School of Public Service, and we are proud to be associated with the Spirit of Harmony Foundation in this great seminar on music education. It's now my pleasure to introduce your Master of Ceremonies tonight, Mr. Kevin Elman. Thank you all for coming. So when Ed first asked me if I'd like to get involved with the Spirit of Harmony Foundation, he said it was, uh, you know, supporting early childhood music education. And I said, well, heck yes, I definitely believe in that. And the reason is I have a very, very personal story that I, I'm going to share with you. I haven't actually told too many people this story. And I'm going to say to you today that if it wasn't for music, I don't think I would be alive. I think I would be dead. I really do. When I was a teenager, I, I was a troubled teenager. I had trouble at school. I had trouble at home. I had trouble with the law. I had all kinds of trouble. And my parents decided at one point that, you know, had gone far enough and they were going to intervene and, and do something. And they ended up uh, putting me in a youth home. And they basically said, look, you know, unless you, until you get your act together, this is your new home. So you better start trying to straighten yourself up. So one day, uh, you know, the first week, I'm meeting with the doctor, a shrink, and one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. He says, you know, I spoke to your parents. I have a pretty good idea of their perspective. But I'd like to talk to you and, and understand from you how you see your life. So I tell him about my school. And I tell him my perspective up at home. And I tell him all about the drums and my teacher and all the things that I'm doing. And he says to me at the end, he says, well, you know, I have, I have good news and I have bad news for you. I said, what's the bad news? He says, well, I think if you don't straighten your act out right now, you're going to be dead or in jail within a year. I said, really? What's the good news? <laughs> he says, well, it seems like everything in your life is a mess. Your home life is a mess. Your school life is a mess. Your community life is a mess. But the one thing that's going well seems to be the music and your drumming. So this is the best part. He takes out his prescription pad, and he says, I'm going to prescribe music for you. I'm not kidding. Literally writes on the pad, and he gives it to the nurse. Says, OK, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give him a room, and every single day for two hours, you have that room to practice, do whatever you want. You can practice drums. What we're going to do is we're going to say, this is your success model. So music and drumming is your success model. You know, so now in order to be a good musician, you have to get a teacher. You have to do what the teacher tells you. You have to practice diligently. Uh, and then typically you're going to work in a, in, a, in a group, either like a brass quintet or I was in a rock band. And you have to figure out how to work with other people. And you have to blend together as a group. So the tremendous, tremendous skills that you learn from being a musician. So he says, we're going to rebuild your life based on music. So for the rest of my life, everything that I have done other than music, I pattern after that. So when I got into this business, I got a teacher. I had a mentor. I you know, listened and I studied and how do you do these things? And I went to school and I did my lessons and I practiced and all the things you're supposed to do. And if you follow that music model, you can apply it to practically anything in life and succeed. So music is a tremendous success model. And if you teach children how to play music and how to play in groups, because that's the, key, that's the key, in my opinion, you've got to play in a group, they are going to learn life skills which will change their lives and allow them to be successful throughout their life. Thank you. Thank you very much.